Hey guys, what's going on? Gonna start up a new little mini series aside from car stuff. We're gonna be doing work on the mini bike as well as the go-kart. So I just want to show you guys this go-kart that I got here. Um, picked it up on Craigslist. The guy wanted 200 bucks for it and I had just bought a um, non-running China ATV for 50 bucks and traded him the ATV for this. And he had just put the Predator 212 on it. So I think I got a pretty good deal. The uh, starter there is from the mini bike. I actually just picked that up for 80 bucks. Um, pretty sure the guy I got it from stole it. Because that, that was just like way too good of a deal to be true. Um, anyways, today what we're doing is I got a <clears throat> little performance kit from Go Power Sports. And we're going to be putting on... A uh, new jet for the carburetor, air intake, and exhaust header pipe. Um, but, so I'm going to show you guys how to do all that. So first things first, we're going to get the, let's do the exhaust first because that's probably going to be the easiest. Alright, so to do the exhaust, um, I have a... I don't know what you would call it, just a spring to pull the throttle back because it's modified on a go-kart. Um, so first things first, we're going to remove this just by taking it off and not letting it go right away. And now we need to take off the two nuts there, which I believe are a 10 millimeter. So I'm going to go grab that. Not a 10 mil, they are a 13 mil. Um, so there's a few different ways you can take off the exhaust. This is just the heat shield. It's held on by two screws up here if you have the Predator 212 motor. Um, I've messed around with the exhaust before. Um, so it's just these two little nuts here. You just pretty much crack them loose. And you can probably get the rest with your fingers. Um, think you'll want to save those nuts I don't remember if the kit I got from Go Power Sports came with new ones I'm pretty sure it did not and that's literally all there is the exhaust gasket is right here which you could probably reuse but for five extra bucks I got new gaskets um, the other idea I was toying with was I put this in a vise and I had actually taken this off because I was thinking about making my own header pipe but it was so cheap just to buy one in a bundle package with the air intake and new jet for the carburetor. I just decided to just go with that. But this one, I mean, I'll probably save because I'm going to get another Predator 212 for the mini bike that's behind me that you just saw. Um, so now that this is off, that's all there is there. Now we got to rip open your packaging. Uh, excuse me. And get your header pipe. And yes, it did not come with nuts. So make sure you save those. So now we got the new header pipe and we could reuse that old gasket. But like I said, I think it was $4.95 to be exact. Came with new gaskets. So I'm just gonna grab the one out of here that's for the exhaust, which um, I guess is that one. It's not metal. Well, I guess I'll save that other one. See how this one does. And then you just want to line her up. Bam. So you know it's the right one. And just slap it on there. Oh, yeah. I'm probably going to break this getting it off because this is stuck on there now. So... Yeah. Alright, I guess we're going to reuse the old one. Wrong way. And just make sure it looks like a D. Make sure you're lining it up right. Should only go on one way. Oh, 
Holy cow. Seems like every freaking part I'm buying from for this never wants to line up just right. Okay, I'm gonna grab a drill bit and I'm gonna drill out these holes a little bit just so it can fit on there because it doesn't Okay, well after a shit ton of drilling those holes a little bigger, we got it to fit. So that just slides right on, throw the nuts on, don't cross thread them. Make sure you're doing this when your engine is cold so you don't burn yourself on the exhaust, etc, etc. I know I'm probably blocking your guys' view. I apologize. All right. Now that we got that bad boy on, we'll tighten these up. Just get it a little snug and then do the other side. And then snug them both up. And it's a small engine, it's not like a car or anything, so you don't have to use excessive brute force on it. Um, now if you did what I did, where you have this throttle return spring, whatever you want to call it, you're going to have to find a place to remount it, which I'll probably just drill a hole in the heat shield there and snap it down there and for the time being, that should be fine. Um, all right, next thing is doing the intake. So I'm gonna reset my camera and get some. Spray. All right, next things next, we're gonna throw on the new intake, um, but with more air coming in, you're gonna need more fuel. So we're actually gonna have to take the carburetor off and throw the new jet in first. So um, the way that I've always done it is Let's see, I'm gonna move this guy over here. And let's get you guys a little lower. Hang on, gotta work my little $10 Amazon tripod. Uh, there goes my phone. Ooh, it sounds like something cracked. Nope. All right, now, Perfect, you can see a little better. All right, so make sure your gas is off. Um, actually, that doesn't matter. I don't know why I said that. Um, so we're gonna pop this cap off on the air box, which I totally forgot how you do. Oh, there it is. Pop that off, and we can take the filter out. I just like to take that off. Um, then it's gonna be these two nuts here, those ones, should be the 10 mils. So, we have a 10 mil here. Come on. And now that we got that, take these two off, and then take a good look at what's on and off for your um, choking your gas because this whole area or this whole plastic shroud thing is going to be taken off and thrown away and there's not going to be any little labels to help you out. You could make your own labels or something which I might do just for the fuel on and off um, but I mean it's pretty simple either way. Alright so now that that's off we can pull this guy back and there's a breather tube that goes into the um, overhead valve area that just pops right out and then this is connected to the breather tube on the gas tank so we'll just bend this piece back and what I do I just flip it up um, but since we're getting rid of that completely we can probably just I'll take that off here 
All right, so with the carburetor, you have your fuel line, which goes to your fuel shut off. Um, what I do for that, I grab a pair of vice grips, the needle ones. I get them all the way closed and I just pinch that line. It's just rubber, but be careful so it doesn't tear. So now it won't leak too much gas on you. It will still leak a little bit. Plus you have to keep in mind that there's gonna be gas inside the carburetor. And now there's just a little clip on the fuel line itself. And you just gotta finagle that off. Um, this for the choke, you can take that off because you get a, well, never mind, you don't get a new one. You get something to hold it down. So that you can just take off now so it doesn't fall off on you and you lose it. Because I had that happen to me. wants to be a bitch. All right, perfect. Now that's off. We will slide. We will slide. We will slide. Well, you can take your carb gasket off, which they gave you a new one. I kind of regret paying that extra five bucks because these are all going to be fine. Um, we will slide the fuel line off the carburetor. Oh shit. And just keep in mind that a lot of these fittings on the carb are brass and they're really easy to damage their brass is a super soft metal. Um, now you have these two little linkages here for your throttle. They just come right up and out and boom now your carbs off. Um, there's gonna be a bunch of gas in the bowl um, you can drain it out. We're going to take the bowl off anyways, so, um, don't tip it upside down or you're going to get gas all over yourself. So just make sure you're somewhere where you can empty this properly. Um, so I'm going to go do that by just taking this bolt off or you can take this screw out to drain it. But once you take that bolt off, you can tip it to the side and the gas will just come out right here so it doesn't get all over you. So I'm going to do that real quick and then we'll be all back. Right. Please excuse the mess. I'm actually just going to do this into this little oil can and I'll show you guys what we're going to do. <clears throat> what we're going to do. Didn't mean to squeak there. Alright, so get your 10 mil, get it in loosening mode, and then we're just going to crack that baby. Oh, that was pretty loose. And once the bowl starts to spin, let's see if I'm doing this right, then bam. Just tip her up and now I only got minimal gas on my fingers get all the gas out um, you just want to make sure this is clean I just cleaned my carb the other day uh, it is dirty on the bottom just from grass and dirt and shit that's completely okay we're gonna set that off to the side uh, make sure no dirt and debris gets in here you can also take this time to check out your gaskets um, if you're gonna soak this in carb cleaner and clean the carb, make sure that you take the gaskets out because that carb cleaner can deteriorate them. And if your hands are dirty like mine, be careful what parts you're touching on the carb because I just got that part a little dirty. Um, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the jet out, which is right in there. And again, it's brass, so you can destroy it pretty easily. We just need a flathead screwdriver. So I'm gonna go find the right size. And then we'll be All right, now that you got your right flathead, you can see the little indentations where the flathead goes. Um, this is gonna be hard to show the camera, so I'm just gonna do it straight up. And you just wanna unscrew until you don't see that jet move anymore. It's not gonna come all the way out. And you can just tip it up and knock it out with your hand. And we'll pull it up. So this is brass, like I said, brass is pretty soft. Some people, um, the new jet was like, I don't know, I th it was included in the kit. So it was like, all together the kit was 70 bucks. Um, otherwise you can take a really small um, drill bit and just like drill it out by just using the drill bit and twisting it in your fingers. But we're just getting rid of this completely. 
So that can go there. And now we can install the new one. And these tiny Ziploc bags don't need to work. And I just dropped it in oil. Um, so carb cleaner is handy. Just clean that off and dry out my skin really super bad. Make sure you wash your hands. Doo -doo -doo. Don't lose it. It's super tiny. All right. I got that dried off. Now, just going to see what I'm doing. Drop that right in there. Give it a little shake or wiggle. Again, this is brass, so don't over tighten. Make sure you're not cross setting. Be very, very careful while you're screwing this in just so you can tell if you're going to cross set it or not. And once it's about hand tight, just give her a little snug and she should be good to go. I'm going to do this off camera here. Bam. All right, she's good to go. Like I said, be very, 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 very careful you don't strip that out because if you strip that out, you're probably going to end up having to buy a whole new carburetor. Yes, they're cheap, but it's not fun because it's still money. They're probably like 25 bucks. And then you gotta wait for shipping and you don't get to drive your go-kart or whatever. Um, because if you strip that, you're probably not getting it out. So now we're just gonna put the bowl back on. I don't think there's an actual way the bowl is supposed to go on, but I always like to um, line up this bolt with the choke. Um, or not the choke, the, I don't know, whatever. You can do what you want. Um, where did I put this? Now we're going to snug that up. Bam. Good to go. All right, let's go back. Let's go throw back together. All right, now that we got that new jet in. Jet in. Sounded like I said jet engine. Just inspect your gasket that's already on here. They sent me a new one. Um, that one's fine. And I've taken this carb on and off. Make sure that you don't get, like, gasket stuck to this. I haven't had that issue yet. But anyways, slide that bad boy on. And pick that line up. Actually, we're going to pull it back. So everything you took off, you just want to put it back on in reverse order. So we're going to put that little throttle linkage on. Don't forget your little idler spring if you still have that. I'll probably delete that later. I think that's what that's called, an idler spring. Come on, motherfucker. It's like threading a needle. Get that down in there. Make sure everything still works. Now we can put the fuel line back on. Again, be careful with that. It's all rubber. Make sure you don't tear it. And we're just going to finagle that down on there. Perfect. And make sure your fuel is off. Now we can take that off, get that out of the way, and we'll just move this little clip down there so it holds the fuel line onto the fitting. Make sure it's on the fitting and not like halfway on, otherwise you might get a fuel leak. Um, now, last time I took my carb apart to clean it, there was a spacer on one of these. For the original air box you don't need that spacer with the new kit um you didn't see one come off mine because i had lost it so now we're gonna throw the gasket back on it should only fit one way so you will know if you're doing it right or wrong come on these studs sometimes don't like to line up so you might have to just pinch them together with your fingers they're pretty easy and now we can grab the adapter from go power sports if you get the one from go power sports it already has um these two little like oval cutouts 
trying to figure out my camera, that are on the inside, which line up with these oval cutouts here. If you buy a different kit on like eBay or Amazon, there, that's a better way to show them. These ones right here, not where the bolts go. Um, the ones on eBay or Amazon, I've seen some of them don't have that, so you'll just have to drill them out. Otherwise, if you order the one from Go Power Sports, it's already drilled out. And again, this only goes on one way. Make sure you know which one you're putting on. It's a little hard to see here, but this one sits a little lower and that one sits a little higher. Just look at your carb and that'll go right on just like that. <clears throat> and now you can throw, whoops, totally forgot to stop. Also, another thing with the Go Power Sports kit, this guy comes with this, which um, on the stock air box, it sits here and will hold down your choke thingy, your little choke lever, um, so it doesn't fall out. And with the new one, there's nothing to hold it there, so they supply you with this. And it actually came with a little nut. And I'm very confused on how this goes together. So I'm going to figure it out, then I'll start filming. Alright, so I actually have this upside down. Um, there's a little screw hole in the back of this. And the screw they provide just slides into that. And then this is what I mean where this will hold that down. So we're going to tighten this up first, and then we'll tighten that guy up. Um, but... All you need to do now, make sure they're not dirty, throw your nuts back on, which hopefully these will fit. Yeah, it looks so good, or it looks good so far. Almost looked like they weren't going to fit. Yep, perfect. Whoops, I just loosened that one. Okay, now we will grab our handy dandy socket and ratchet. And we are gonna snug these up. to be a little bitch. There it goes. Just make sure you kind of switch sides. Give it equal pressure. You don't need to wrench them down super hard. Just give them nice enough snug. Bam. Good to go. Now you can take the angled air filter pod and put it how you'd like I'm gonna angle it up and it just pops on there make sure it's all the way on and if you want to have a cleaner look you can make this hose clamp sit at the bottom but I'm gonna have it sit at the top just so it's easier um, but I'm gonna angle this up uh, so it's farther away from the dirt and the debris and then just make sure your hose clamp is far enough back to where it's actually going to hold the air filter on the adapter plate. And then you tighten and if you have money, which I don't seem to have at the moment, you can use a power tool to do this. And she's snug, she ain't going nowhere. Bam, we're done. You just need to tighten that little bolt, which I'm gonna do here. Um, not gonna show you guys that, cause it's just tightening that little tiny bolt right there. Um, just so it holds this down. 
And then we'll take her outside and take her for a rip. See if she starts. Hi guys, she started right up if you can hear me. Um, it's getting late. It's really effing loud and I love it. Um, but I got it up on the jack stand just so that one wheel feel can spin. And I'll show you what she sounds like. Thanks for watching guys, hit that subscribe button.